Almost everyone in my family loves Pokemon. Mom, Dad, my little brother Jake, almost everyone I know. I grab my Game Boy from the shelf and put it onto my lap. As I'm about to try to beat Pokemon Red again, I notice a cartridge on my bed. No cover, no words, just a blank cartridge. I didn't find anything wrong with a little cartridge in crappy condition. Okay, how did that happen? Like. I really hope the story is just like, hey, this is how that mysterious cartridge flew into a little boy's room. That's what I want to know. At least it didn't do the whole, you know, spiel about, you know, going to a garage sale, so props to it so far. I didn't find anything wrong with the little cartridge in crappy condition. I just pulled out Red and put the cartridge into my Game Boy. As I turned the Game Boy on, instead of the normal intro playing a Pokemon game, I just heard a loud beeping sound. Ugh, what the hell is this? I yelled. I turned off the game and went downstairs. It has to be a glitch. It has to be a glitch. It must be. Why would you figure that someone glitched the game? I mean, it does that when the game freezes and all that stuff, so why would you figure that someone glitched the game? That's so stupid. I went into the kitchen, where Dad is usually discussing what happened to him at work yesterday and Mom's making breakfast. I looked in and was shocked at what I saw. Hey mom, dad, wh what's for brec- No one was there. Not even Jake. I went back upstairs and went into his room to see if he was still sleeping. No one. Damn, I whispered. Where is everyone? I remembered that it was Saturday and my brother has no school, dad has no work, and mom just stays home. Okay, why the- why did you throw- if this does not tie in beautifully, I'm going to strangle you. Recap, okay? Kid likes Pokemon. Kid finds red cartridges. Kid tries to play red cartridges. Kid is exposed to loud beep. Kid gets a little distressed by it. Parents are gone. I went back to my room, confused. There on the floor sat the Game Boy with a strange cartridge. As soon as I turned it back on, I heard the same beeping noise, which I was more alert this time. After 10 seconds, the game went directly in. My character is a boy, and he had no name. Also, the sprite looked... different. How? How do he look? Oh, I just threw my cup. Just threw my cup. Shit's everywhere. I just threw my cup and shit's everywhere. How? Can you please? <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Is this story almost over? I, I really hope it's almost over, because I just, I can't fucking take it anymore. What? How? Okay. I, I think it's about to describe it, but just the little fucking bullshit sentence. His cap and clothes were gray, and his skin was pale white. My character was inside of Lavender Town, the one from Leaf Green. Oh! Oh, so his, so his clothes were gray, and he was pale? And that's just... scary? What are you trying- are you trying to be like a, a freaking lost silver? and shit just morph and have a baby and it's just it doesn't work i'm sorry <sighs> i decided to move around i got to an old woman and talked to her she was silent for a few seconds and then started talking you how could you do that to such a poor pokemon she said i now had three choices all of them said i just did and read text. I picked one, and then a text box appeared. It obviously wasn't the old woman. So you meant to do this horrible thing to me? It said. Oh, a Pokemon ghost. It's a Pokemon ghost. And the Pokemon died. And that's the plot of the... I now, be I now started to become scared. Before I could react, the escape rope animation appeared and my character warped to Pallet Town. Except, all of the buildings and everything in the town was red. All except my character. Hey guys, um, if any of you guys are remote Pokemon Creepypasta fans, you would know that, um, this is relatively similar to a story, um, it's a Pokemon, you might have heard about, I don't know, it's called LOST SILVER! It's called Pokemon Lost Silver! You know, he's walking down the thing, and he's like white, and he's slowly losing his limbs, and it's getting red, and it's getting darker, darker, darker. Play the hacked ROM if you don't want to read the pasta. It happened, and it's a fa- oh. To say that this was heavily influenced by that story is an understatement. This is a copy-paste with worse grammar, and even worse writing, which, you know, Lost Silver was kinda eh by itself. I decided to check my stats. I looked at my Pokemon. 
a Charizard, a Pikachu, a Pidgeot, and a shiny Zubat. Only all the Pokemon except Zubat had a sad expression on their faces. When I looked into my bag, nothing. No Pokeballs, nothing. My bag was completely empty. Then I checked my character. He had no name, a sad look on his face, a gray hat, pale white skin, just like the sprite. The character is going to look the same as the sprite because the sprite was made after the character. Does that make much sense? It was as if he was dying. He was. That has got to be the most ignorant assumption I've ever heard anyone make ever. Because he looks like he's dying, that means he is. Wow. I decided to save. You cannot save in this area, it said in a text box. Then another text box appeared. Get out here and fight, it said, but in red text. Zubat has left the party, it said. Now in my mind, all I could think of saying was, what the hell is going on here? And shutting the game off, but I was too curious. Then a battle began. Zubat would like to fight. What? Zubat would like to fight, a text box said. Go Charizard! I checked moves. Only move was defense curl. Whoever made that ROM hack's a dick. I picked it and it said Charizard refused to follow orders. What? I have all the badges! He should obey! I yelled. No, I just kind of picture like a 10 year old playing like this creepy ROM hack and like it won't obey and he's just screaming at it. What? I have all the badges! Which it never specified in the story that he had all the badges. A text box appeared. Charizard has left the party. Pikachu has left the party. Pidgeot has left the party. All of my Pokemon gone. Zubat looked at you. I became confused. Zubat looked at itself. How do you look at yourself? Jesus, man. A text box appeared. Charizard has left the party. Pikachu has left the party. Pidgeot has left the party. All of my Pokemon gone. Zubat looked at you. I became confused. Zubat looked at itself. What is going on here? Zubat smiled. Then I heard a beeping noise again. You left me in this terrible game. You forgot about me. You left me here. You know, I'm past angry. I'm like, I'm just like, you know, don't give a fuck anymore. Every bad polka pasta, it's always about the revenge of like the Pokemon, you know, because the kid would play the game and he would love it and grow attached and then he would stop playing one day for the new game or whatever the fuck and then the Pokemon get all evil. That is the generic formula for a creepypasta, or a Pokemon one. And when a writer doesn't do that, is when the Pokepasta is actually good. It's when he's like, you know, I'm not going to do this formula where the Pokemon are pissed at the kid who's playing a fucking Game Boy Advance and has the retention span of a peanut, so yeah, he's going to forget about little virtual animals that's, that from a game that's going to lose its value as soon as you've done everything you need to do. Huh. <sighs> Like, what do these virtual monsters expect? My eyes widened when I heard Jake scream. I took him. Then I began to cry. Did the game just kidnap my little brother? Why would you assume that a Game Boy game kidnapped your little brother? There's no evidence proving that. Assumptions, assumptions, assumptions. And this person is terrible at them. My character appeared in a room with no way out. Now I'm leaving you. Then I suddenly fell to the ground and, you know. What do you mean you know? You, what do you mean you 
don't know. I don't know. You fell to the ground in what? You know how many scenarios that could pop out of I fell to the ground. I fell to the ground and I was raped by an old man. I fell to the ground and my brother hopped out of the cartridge, but his fucking is covered in peanut butter. I don't know. I just anything could happen. There's so many scenarios, and you're just like, eh, you know what happened? No, 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 no I don't. Zubat used pain split on. Died. Zubat killed itself. So wait, so wait, wait. How does this affect you? Jesus, man. Oh, wait a minute, that's how it ends? That, the story. So his brothers in the game don't know anything about your parents. The Zubat killed itself. And you don't even know what happened. You, the kid fell to the ground, you know, and the Zubat just killed itself when the kid hit the ground. What? What? Why I give this story? Like, a uh, fucking... It doesn't even deserve anything. It deserves the nothing out of nothing. Like, I'm sorry, if the person who writes this ever finds this video, I'm not gonna apologize to you. I don't care if you even your I don't care if Stephen King wrote this and he just popped it up and he wrote it when he was like six before Pokemon even existed. I don't, know. I don't care who did it or like how nice this person is. You fucking suck at writing. Zero out of zero. Seems legit. Oh, I like to thank um, Creepypasta Reads for uh, being my little partner in crime and breaking down this shitty pasta. That was not very nice of him. Probably be an annotation. Yep. It's probably the worst story I did so far. You can thank Reeds for that. He was like, hey, you should do this. And then I was like, maybe you should. And he's like, I want to sit in thunder. And I'm all like, dude, do it with me then. And he was like, yeah. And then, that works. Hey, Scotty. I've got balls of steel.